Not sure how to get started setting up your plan application system? Want to plan for a future success? I'm Tom. I'm a QA developer here at GE Digital, and I'm here to help you with the pre-requirements for installing plan applications. Starting the right way will save you time and will create a system that will grow with you. With plan applications, you can maximize overall equipment effectiveness, OEE, improve production scheduling, and ensure product quality by leveraging real-time production data. Understanding what you need ahead of time will allow you to maximize these benefits. In this video, we're going to talk about all the things you need to take into consideration when planning your plant application system. This includes the environment, security settings, Windows roles and features, and the software requirements. The environment. For best results, we recommend a four node environment. Plan for one node for each of the following. The plan application server, where the workflow and the PA server are installed. Workflow and the PA server are required to coexist and must be on the same server. The SQL server, for the SOA DB database. The plan applications web report server. And finally, the UCC server, which includes both historian and the universal client, or UCC. While you can certainly install all of these components on a single system, it is not recommended in a production environment. Remember, we are talking about creating a system that can grow with you. Security settings. There are several considerations to consider when planning your security strategy. We are not going to cover them all here. We are, however, going to talk a little bit about some of the items that you need to take into consideration when dealing specifically with the plan applications and report servers. These include Windows users, application passwords, historian settings, SSL security certificates. For Windows users, before you install plan applications, be aware of the following. You are going to need a local Windows account and password for the PA report engine. Excel must start under the same logon account as the PA report engine. The PDF service must start with its own Windows user account, login as a service policy required. Additionally, you will most likely want to configure the plan application's universal client for Active Directory users, if implemented. The integration of the UAA service with the Active Directory domain services saves the duplication of creating and managing plan applications domain users in the UAA server. Please be aware that there is a script to help you set this up after the installation of the report server. See the UCC install guide for details. For application passwords, be advised that during the plan applications install process, you will be asked for administrator passwords for the plan application server, SQL server, historian, workflow, KSP user, ThingWorks, Postgres, RabbitMQ, and Tomcat. Some passwords like those for workflow, historian, SQL server, and RabbitMQ, you will need to know beforehand. Others like the plan application server, ThingWorks, Postgres, and Tomcat will be created for you when you run through the actual product installs. You need to be an administrator before you can proceed with the installs. For Historian Server security settings, if you are using Historian Server for your tag data, you are going to want to disable the Enforce Strict Client and Enforce Strict Collection Authentication on the Historian Server. For security certificates, be aware that the Plan Application Server, the Universal Client, and workflow all require SSL security certificates. Self-signed certificates are okay for test environments, but not in the enterprise or internet deployments. When installing plan applications, you are prompted to generate new certificates, import certificates, or use legacy certificates. You can use existing certificates deployed by your security team or purchase new certificates. The certificates need to be trusted on each client machine that access the websites. You will later need to set up HTTP binding as well as authentication and authorization for FTP in the IIS manager. The names you use must match the name on the certificates, the required Windows roles and features. In the Windows Server Manager, ensure the following roles are installed. Under Files and Storage, the File Server and Storage Services. Under Web Server IIS, make sure the Web Server FTP server and management tools are selected. Under web server, for common HTTP features, everything should be selected except WebDAV. Under health and diagnostics, select HTTP logging. 
Under Performance, select Static Content Compression. Under Security, request filtering, basic authentication, URL authorization, and Windows authentication should be selected. Under Application Development, the .NET Extensibility options, the ASP and ASP.NET options, and the ISAPI options should all be selected. Under FTP Server, select FTP Service. And finally, under Management Tools, select IIS Management Console, IIS 6 Compatibility, and Management Service. For features, make sure that the .NET Framework 3.5 and 4.5 features are installed, along with ASP.NET and under WCF Services, HTTP Activation and TCP Port Sharing are enabled. The Software the following software is required to install plan applications and its associated web server. For a complete list of supported pre-requirements, please refer to the Plant Applications Getting Started Guide. For videos on how to install Workflow or Historian, see our Discover and Learn playlist on YouTube or click the links below. This video is meant as a companion and not a replacement for installation and other detailed reference information. This concludes our pre-requirements and planning overview. As always, thank you for watching.